feel really emotional. This is not what this video was supposed to be about. Sniffers, today we are at the bird store. Okay, wait, stop. Who am I? My name is Marlene McCohen. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Do not forget to subscribe, click that notification bell because if you like animals, you are gonna like my channel. You know how I know? Because anyone that truly likes animals loves exotic animals, aka my parrots. So today we're gonna do another fun reaction video with Vinny. And I wanted to do this video earlier, but I realized. I didn't have all the right materials for the video so if you don't know what I'm talking about hold up because I got to do some shout outs because we got some new flighters that have joined our flighters club yeah I'm the new united because I'm uniting us parrot lovers that's right I want to give a shout out to Leanne, Sue Morosky, Lisa Bedwell, Monique Botillier, ooh fancy, Joanna, Joanna, Joanna's like major VIP, Gov, Patty, Victoria Stevenson and I have to do another shout out to Ramona Buzzard because I called her Ramona Buzzard in the last video. Duh. There was like one Z. Okay, guys, so here's the thing that happened. I was granted, actually gifted, two cages. So I realized that Vinny totally needs a cage update. So I'm gonna give this new big cage to Vinny because, I mean, he deserves it. He's a star. You guys love him. He's been working very hard to bring you guys cool content. Tent. So we bring it home and we put it in the hallway because we're like, we don't want Vinny to see it. And there was a smaller cage and we roll that out. And I go, hey, Vinny, I have something for you. And he goes, is it a cage? And I'm like, stop right now because you know you guys know like this bird understands what he's saying and sometimes he speaks nonsense and somebody wrote the funniest comment like ever they wrote that Vinny is like autocorrect and autofill at the same time I don't know I was dying at that comment even I'm shocked sometimes with the things that he says so I was like what and then like he walked himself into the hallway and found the cage and climbed up it so kind of already knows that it's his but I didn't give it to him because when George and I went to set it up we realized he doesn't have bowls he needs new perches because the other cage that he's in now we're gonna put it outside and that's gonna be for Merlin to hang out outside and chill cuz like I don't trust Merlin with the rest of the flock yet cuz we have to do some like flock integration probably talk about my flock integration methods in another video cuz I don't know if you guys saw but most of my birds are all chill together except for Rocky I won't even like try cuz just so big but anyway yeah so we're gonna go into the bird store I gotta get bowls perches and oh yeah bird food don't let me forget all right so here we go the cutest like hyacinth macaws like staring at me. Don't they always look like they're smiling? I got this big cart. I need to get some stuff. <laughs> look at this cockatiel. This cockatiel's a star already. Look at you just sitting there like that. What are you? You're yeah. kidding! I bring a mouth because you can't. Okay. What are you giving, giving me? Both hands. I need both. You're giving. You you got. It. You can't believe. Okay. Let's put it where you I can put this on. A, I need to put this on a stand because they're gonna die if they see this. I come in okay, innocently to to get food, and what does he tell me? He says. Do you want a baby mustache parakeet? I'm like, mm -hmm, stop. He's like, do you want one or not? I'm like, no, I don't want one. And I'm like, could I see it? He's like, no, you tell me if you want one. And I'm like, stop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Only one. There's only one? Yeah. Guys, I don't get baby birds. All my birds are rescues. But it's so easy
guys so okay i don't know how to tell you this but i came in to get bird food and stuff for Vinny, and he goes we actually were gonna call you today and then you came i thought she called you and i'm like no he goes it's meant to be and i'm like no there can't be this many birds meant to be with me maybe i could just find meant to be with everything he's like we only have one a baby i haven't had a baby bird since my first bird <laughs> George is not gonna say, get this baby anyway. Oh, do you smell good? I can't. Why did you do this to me right now? It's like big baby Picasso. What do you think? It's your bird. It's meant to be. You came today, I was gonna call you to make me you were gonna call me today? Yeah, I need evidence of that on camera. Thank you. No. What would happen today? On camera, I was gonna call you today about the mustache, and you came. So it's Stop. meant to be. It's magic. When that happens, the universe is aligned. The universe is aligned <laughs> too much for me and birds, though. I can't. Oh my god, look at the little tail growing in, though. Look. Look at the little tail. <laughs> How old is this bird right now? Uh, like three weeks and a half, four weeks. Three and a half weeks? Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Guys, you'll never believe it. I was like petting a bird and then I went on my phone and the bird like raised herself up or himself up and pulled my finger down. Why? Oh, you blinked. This is not how I thought this video would go. I texted George a picture and George was like, uh, you know we got a new cage, right? <laughs> okay, I'm in the car, so. I'm gonna say this again because like I just need to like figure this out in my head but basically I went in there to get bird food and dishes for Vinny's new cage which is what this video is supposed to be about it's gonna be a quick like little tidbit and then George and I put his new cage together and I don't know if I told you guys but we got two new cages given to us just miraculously by rose at parrots first so and stands so we went to pick that up and lots of paper which is weighing down the car and i i put on my sniffer shirt today i literally thought like i don't have any more birds that like sit and sniff just side note anyway i walk into the store and he's like do you want a mustache bear again i'm like mm -hmm. No, why do you have one? He's like, do you want one? I'm like, can I see it? He's like, do you want one? I'm like, stop, stop torturing me. And he's like, I'm like, why do I have to say I'll buy it to see it? He's like, no, 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 come see. I don't know if I told you this part of the story. I'm just trying to like emotionalize it all. And then I see the baby and it reminds me of Picasso. And you guys know my birds are rescues and I kind of always dreamed of having like my baby bird, but I don't need a baby bird. Cause like, I love my rescues and I think they have just as much personality if not more than any baby bird some people have it just would be nice to like grow a bird with like my own imprint you know so the story is he got a bunch of ring necks babies and the guy the the breeder said there's one mustache parakeet in there but they all look the same so he couldn't tell and today was the first day that he could tell which one was the mustache you guys could see it his little mustache and then he said oh, i gotta call marlene and tell her and then i walked in and he thought that his boss called me but she didn't i just walked in and he said it's just crazy because not only is it a mustache but today was the first day i knew it was a mustache and i wasn't going to show it to anyone except for you and i guess my trouble with this is that like how many birds can be meant to be for me like at some point it's got to be too much I'm gonna need a Starbucks. A lot of people that I'm personally corresponding with, some of you guys on Instagram are saying like, you deserve to have your baby. Like you haven't had a baby bird really since George and since like I was a kid. And like for those of you who know birds and those of you who are passionate about rescue, so am I. And I do wanna make a video on that. Otherwise I wouldn't 
have all these rescue birds, but it would be really nice to have a baby. So anyway, I showed the picture to George and he was like, do you want it? And I was like, I don't know. I mean, I'd love to have a little Picasso, but I don't want it to mean that like, that I think I can't still get Picasso back because I think the universe works in mysterious ways. I told you guys forever, if I ever had another bird as a baby, it would always be a mustache parakeet and the two birds I can't live without ever, like an African gray and a mustache parakeet. I guess I feel guilty about, you know, like if I got a baby bird, then, you know, I didn't rescue a bird, but I don't really feel that guilty because at the same time, I think I've rescued enough birds to have the bird that I want and I'll never stop helping birds. So it's not even that, but I'm so heartbroken without my Picasso and nobody's gonna fill the void in this world. Nobody's gonna be Picasso, but I do feel like I need the right bird in my flock to feel like that, like what it is that Picasso and George gave me. And George was also like kind of like my raising, you know, like and that's why I was so attached to him and like I don't have any birds in my vlog like that right now. And I feel like I would get that that spark back that like, I don't know. Anyway, I have to show you something. I don't know if I'm gonna put this part in, but oh my god guys, I I did it. I don't know. I feel really emotional. So I got the bird. I put money down. I thought about not telling you guys, and but then I thought maybe you want to be on the journey with me of this bird. Maybe you want to come with me to the store when I visit as a baby. Maybe you want to do all that. I feel so conflicted when I was sitting with that bird and do you know what the bird did? It literally just like picked up my finger once I stopped petting it. And I was like, oh my God, how can you, you're like, what, three weeks old? And it's like, the other things going through my head is like, I already have a home for Nellie and Monty. And the reason I haven't been able to get them there is because it's in Texas, because I will go to great lengths to find the best home possible. But like, I love them too, you know? Like, I love them. I love them so much, but I love them so much that I do think they need some specific kind of attention. It's not that they're not getting attention with me, it's that this specific kind of attention that I feel like the home I chose for them to go to will be the best. kind of want to continue this conversation, but I, I actually, next door to the bird store is this reptile store, and I was like, I want to get my chameleon a whole new setup, and then I went crazy in there for like an hour getting reptile education and setup education. <laughs> So that's that. But here's where we're at. George has no idea that I put money down on the bird. It's not like even hitting me. Like it doesn't even feel real. It's not like like me to just, I don't know. As much as it looks like I'll like, oh my God, welcome all the birds. I'm actually very realistic when it comes to birds. I've turned down a lot of birds and found them help. How the ones come to me that they do is cause like it seems to be emergency situations. I don't even know. It's hard to explain. I gotta call George to help me bring in this stuff and I don't even think he's gonna I don't even find I don't know if I told you guys what his reaction was but his reaction was like do you want it you we have a cage like I think we both like I just don't want to project Picasso on the bird but at the same time like Picasso was a sniffer and I don't have a sniffer and I think everybody like a lot of you are telling me like you deserve to have your baby bird because it's just different it, it really is different but not that different I don't think like for me like I just get just as much love out of my other birds I love them it's been a long time I don't know I, I know I'm rambling I, I don't know if I want to go in the house I don't even know like LP? Can you come help me? Hi guys! Has this been on the whole time? Are you kidding me? Guys, um, I think George has completely forgotten about the baby bird. I think he'll ask me unless I bring it up. So I don't know if I should wait or what I should do. Ugh. Hello. What's up, baby? What's up? Oh. Who wants to see something cute? Yeah. 
I saw him already. I know. That's a baby Picasso. Oh, he's so cute. Cute, right? Cute, right? Yeah. Cute. Motion reaction. Three, two, one. Aww. Stop, you know it's cute. Yeah, I know it's cute. He's cute. Can I get your full attention? Yeah. Well, we have handsome guests in the house because my channel likes handsome guests like you. What is this? I get it. Got him. You got him? You got him? Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. It's our baby, so you can nice. go visit it so it bonds with you. Uh, so I can take you down there and you can visit it. What do you think? I'll go there. It's like a baby, like a yeah. Like you can come too. I went to uh, because it's a bit smaller the first uh, week, and like I don't leave him all the time. His fingers touch. <laughs> so we can visit the baby like you visited George. Because I, I was born a month early. That's yeah, why. Yeah, I was too. Does it? I was born a month early because I wasn't eating in mom's stomach. Because I knew I was supposed to be gluten free back then. Wait, is no one, like, is it not a thing that this has happened? It's funny. It's, it hasn't happened until we actually have him here. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm still not, I'm still kind of in shock, but I had a feeling you were going to do it. I just, it I'm, I just wasn't sure. Because, you know, honestly, I was going to be like, did you get him? Did you not? You I didn't. swear. You I didn't you, even. I thought you. No, I in my mind, I was thinking that. that. You I, did when I showed you? Wait, can I show you something else? Look at my Instagram. Wait till you see the face. Hold on, the face is coming. Look at this baby. Oh, stop. Why are you that cute, though? Is it boys? New baby. So, no. what are we calling him? I have an idea for a name. No. What? I thought about the name <coughs> Garfield. No. Oh, hell no. What? Well, you know I always wanted a bird named Garfield. I don't know. Roosevelt. Roosevelt? Theodore. So, Dolly. You had to cast, so now you have Dolly. No? Dolly? Dolly. Why don't okay. we name him Saban so this stuff yeah. makes sense? Then. Salvador Dali. Oh, Salvador Dali. Yeah, with the mustache, and he have also mustache, so it's good for you, no? So we name him Salvador? Salvador. Salvador. I can't name my bird Sal. I'm gonna call up Sal and be like, yo, I name my bird Sal. I don't know Salvador. This name has to be perfect, like, cause the name Picasso was perfect. What about Garfield? Oh, look at the pussy. Look at the pussy. Hello, beautiful. Hey, baby. Did you miss me? So, what are you doing here? As soon as I turn off the camera, she makes her choice. This was not the video that I expected to happen. So I thought we were gonna put together Vinny's new cage, which I'll show you. So this is Vinny's new cage. This is the extra cage that came for us. I don't know. Is that gonna be for Winston? Why are you calling the bird Winston? I don't know. Also, that's what Omer named as a dog. Well, I like Winston, it's just... I just, I, I'm, I met a Winston and I kind of like the Winston. Winston's a cool name. It is a cool uh, name. How about Marlboro? What? Hey guys, I just want to give you a view of something. Let's see everyone. Leo. Jersey. Monty. Nelly. Cody. Vinny. Blue. Rocky. Luke! You coming out to say hi? So this is like we're about to eat and this is about like they're all about to be included. Parrot life! So anyway, we're gonna build this now for the chameleon and all the birds are sleeping. And we just wanted to thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new baby. Maybe some name options. George said Hawaii, but we're, we don't think so, but we thought it was cute. I say Garfield. George says no. Rocky, what do you say? I had some clear thought about everything, about like just getting another bird and like what people would say and I realized I don't give a damn. Like honestly, I'm so good with these birds. And uh, that's it. Like I just had a whole emotional roller coaster and I think Picasso could still come back and I adjusted my like OCD paranoia and said, you know what? Like bringing this bird doesn't change whether or not Picasso will come back. So yeah.
So that's it guys, let me know in the comments what you think, names, everything. Don't forget to check out all my links, Patreon, Cameo, Amazon. Love you guys so much, bye!